Harry admits his fault of ridiculous memoir and ready to compromise despite risky and costly. Harry and Meghan are believed to be trying to put the brakes on the release of his book in their Netflix show following the Queen's death, but things may not be that simple. Prince Harry has been warned he faces an uphill task to prevent the contents of his new memoir from going public, if, as seems likely, it's already been printed. Jonathan Sacadotti was speaking after Royal Correspondent Katie Nicholl suggested the Duke of Sussex was pushing for major changes to the book after the death of his grandmother. She further claimed copies had probably already been printed, predicting publisher Penguin Random House would have to pulp them at an enormous cost. I haven't heard anything about the books being pulped, Jonathan Sacadotti told. There are times when publishers have to do that, for example, if they lose a legal case because of something printed in a book. Sacadotti warned of a potential risk if edits have in fact been made. If it's true that Harry's book is being rewritten or re-edited after it had been signed off and possibly even been produced to a nearly finished state, then there is also a risk that the earlier version could be leaked and made public, even if a decision is made to change the focus. That's always going to be a risk that will maybe make some people afraid. The further down the line it was, the more people will have seen it, and the more digital copies of it that will be in circulation. It's virtually impossible for something to be truly withdrawn these days once it's been seen and sent around even just internally at the publisher. So even if it's edited and changed before it's published, the original text will always be a possible threat. The royal family has been going out of its way to include Meghan Markle, a design icon has said. Changing Room star Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen praised the royals for uniting after the death of the Queen, but he said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would stay in the US. Mr Llewellyn Bowen said, well, I think it's going to be difficult. They obviously have to weigh up how much time they're going to spend in the UK. And by the sounds of it, they're going to be pretty US based, at least in the near future. That's obviously where Meghan feels a lot safer. And it reflects her and her personality a lot more than being over here. It's complicated over here. We're rather weird. On one hand, we're very supportive. And on the other hand, we expect royalty to be good value and work hard for us. He added, I think it's difficult for someone like her to get the balance right. But the big thing we can all see happening is that the rest of the royal family are going out of their way to make her feel like she does feel part of what's going on and feel very cherished. They've made a real point about that. And when you look back at all the toing and froing, it was all conjecture. We don't know at all. We don't know the conversations being had or what was being said. We don't know whether people were making her feel welcome or not. But to me, it looks very much as if she's always been welcome. He told, in-laws are never easy. My goodness, but royal in-laws? Wow, that's complicated. Mr Llewellyn Bowen's comments came amid claims Buckingham Palace aides are plotting to block Harry's bombshell memoir, which was due to be published this autumn. A friend of King Charles reportedly told, The question inside the palace is, can the book be stopped? It may be that even Harry can't stop it at this stage, but the feeling at the very top is that there's no good that can come from airing grievances in public. Grant Harolds, a former royal butler to Harry, William and Charles, told the memoir would be a disaster for the Sussexes. 